Hey guys, it's Kim here, and welcome to my Kim Impressions on Thief. As you may notice, things are a little bit different to normal for several reasons. For starters, I'm joined by this guy. Hey, how's it going? Hey, Shan, how's it going? Pretty good, thank you. Yeah. So um, basically, we've been frantically playing Thief over the weekend because um, we had a ridiculously short lead time with it. But because I've been playing it on PS4 mm. and in a different way that you've been playing it on PC, um, we thought it'd be a good idea to kind of get together. Just chat about our opinions and our feelings and, yeah. you know, so first up, what do you think of Thief? Um, well, I enjoyed it. I mean, I've, I've had fun with it so far. I haven't played all the way through. We've only had a kind of small snapshot of the game and I'm not sure how much it sprawls out. But yeah, so far I'm, I'm actually having fun, which is good, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. The game. I'm not. No, what, you're not enjoying it? No, I'm not enjoying it. Why not? I just... Mm, mm, okay, I was really hyped for it. Yeah. I was really excited for it. I've not um, played the original Thief games, although I know, you know, I've, I've seen playthroughs of them and I know about them and I know about their kind of history and style. So I was really, really excited for this remake and um, got my hands on it and I was just disappointed because it felt, I don't know, incomplete, I would say the word, and very, very basic. So given that it's been in development for quite a while now and Square Enix have been very prolific about the development and like releasing a lot of trailers, a lot of gameplay trailers and that kind of thing and I've had yeah. lots of interviews with the devs. I don't know, it was built up to be more to me and then when I finally got my hands on it and played it, I was just very let down by how empty it felt, really. Um, I hear where you're coming from. It's one of those franchises that it's got a lot of history. I mean, yeah. there's a lot of A lot of older gamers have a lot of respect for it and it's kind of one of the original stealth games, I mean, it kind of gave birth to the genre, so yeah. there were high expectations and, and a high bar yeah. to kind of overcome. So yeah, it's a shame in that respect. Yeah, but that's the thing is that um, immediately, the, the first thing that popped into my mind is it's gonna get compared to Dishonored, which obviously it shouldn't do because Thief came out way before Dishonored and Dishonored was inspired by the Thief franchise. Yeah. But it, it is gonna get compared to Dishonored in, and in a bad light because it is, you know, a very visually dark game. It's set in quite a gothic sort of English style um, city. Um, there's a lot of rain, it's very moody, it's all about shadows and stealthing and, you know, doing kind of stealth kills and that kind of thing. Yeah. Not, not that many rats though. Um, yeah, no, but, true. but, you know, and, and some of the levels are sort of the same, like there's a level set in a brothel mm. and it just, it does feel very samey but without the kind of uniqueness that Dishonored has, like the kind of the art style and the twist of rats and the political system and all that, the, those really interesting elements that tied everything together and also the powers that you had in Dishonored. Yeah. You know, in this you've got, you know, your equipment, you know, water arrows and, and stuff like that. But it just, for me, it doesn't have that uniqueness. It feels like it's borrowed from Dishonored, a little bit from Bioshock Infinite, from the original Thief series. It just feels like parts of different games brought together. It doesn't feel like a game in its own right, like it's bringing anything new to the genre, which is insane. Yeah. Because it should do, because it it's should. Thief. Yeah. <laughs> it should push the boundaries more than it does. Mm. But one of the things I found was, while playing, there's a lot of focus on immersion. The UI mm. is very stripped down. And what I'm used to in stealth games is having a mini-map that shows you the guard patrols, their field of vision, uh, visual indicators that show you how much a guard can see you, how much you're in risk. Mm. Um, with Thief, it seems like they've kind of stripped that back. But and did you change your difficulty settings at the beginning? Or did I you? did, yeah. yeah. Is it on the easier difficulties? Is well, there a lot more going on? That, that is one thing that I do applaud them for because um, a lot of original Thief players were kind of concerned during the development that it was being made too easy, that it was mm. being made too much like modern games where they kind of hold your hands and it's all QTEs and press X to Jason and all that kind of thing. Yeah. Um, so <laughs> they, they, <laughs> they, did, um, they did bring in a lot of difficulty options, which I think is really good. So they have like a very basic setting for people who just want to play the game, don't really, you know, probably new to stealth, and, and yeah. that has y your markers and kind of you could, like a little um, icon above everybody's um, guards' heads, yeah. so that you can see how much they're aware that you're there and that kind of thing. Mm. Um, and there are like um, the tutorial hints that say, oh, you might want to go over here or here, or press the because um, I'm playing on PS4, press press in the right stick um, to see like observe and see sort of where you're meant to go next. Yeah. So there's that mode, and then you can obviously tailor it to be more and more difficult to have more guards, to have guards that are more alert um, and not stupid. And then the best thing is they have 
have a custom setting where you can literally go through everything like and tailor everything to your heart's content. So you can yeah. tailor what HUDs you have on, what you have off, whether or not you can see that you're in the shadow or not. And I think that's really, really good. So if you want original Thief experience, you can tailor make it um, using the custom settings to do that. So that is a really, really good thing. What is cool about the custom setting as well is, is that sometimes you can make the game more difficult, but there's no point to it. But luckily in the custom settings, there's points values assigned to all those different options. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So when you get to the end, you can say, oh, well, I did it without saving, but, you know, what's the point? Now you can actually say, I did it without saving, and now I've got, like, an extra... 150 or 200 points to my score, so that's good. Mm. I'm not sure what the point system is. But... Yeah, is it literally just a high score that you just... I guess, yeah. yeah but but at least it's something, right? It's, yeah. it's something that you know rewards you for opting to take the more difficult option. Mm. So. The only other thing that I found a little bit disappointing was, so you played it in a very stealthy manner. Yeah. Um, and um, how'd you get on with that? Did you feel did you feel like you were a thief? Do you feel like you are a master, you know, master of the shadows? It's kind of cool. I mean, I'd watched Hannah play it previously, and you get like a pie chart at the end of each level that says, uh, it's kind of split up into three sections. Thieving, mm -hmm. which is like taking things, jewels, etc. Killing, or, or uh, pacifying, going through aggressively. And then hiding, kind of ghost. Mm. And I've kind of gone for the ghost option, where I try to just try and stealth through everything. I don't try and kill anybody. And Not alerting anything. anyone. No, I'm kind of like a recovering klepto in that respect. <laughs> but, um, no, it's, and it, it's fun, because I mean that's always been the challenge for me in stealth games, is just being totally unseen. It's what I loved in Deus Ex, it's what I loved in, in Hitman Absolution, so mm. it's what I'm going through with Thief. I've been playing it like a maniac and just smacking everyone in the face with blackjack. Yeah? Um, yeah, I've been a bit fighty. Sounds like you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, quite aggressive. Um, which is cool and, you know, it's doable, you can do it. It is a little bit harder because obviously you have to kind of make every hit count. Yeah. Oh, and I'm doing the thing of comparing it to Dishonored when I know I shouldn't, but I can't stop it. It's difficult, I yeah. don't feel like there's a consequence from it. So like in Dishonored, if you played in a very aggressive manner, it kind of made, it changed um, the later levels in the game. So it made... Uh, enemies more alert it had there were more rats in the area because there were more bodies because mm. you're adding more bodies so there were more rats so more chance of getting those like rat um plague dudes and then um there was also more of the weepers as well like the reanimated zombie people yeah um so i felt like there was a consequence of being a bit of an asshole earlier yeah. on in the game um that made things harder in the later game because everything was more aggressive and more there were more enemies whereas if you played stealthily it was pretty much okay in the later game. It was still pretty like, you know, mm. no one was alerted to what you would do. Like there's a maniac running around, killing everyone. Um, but I don't I don't really feel like at the moment, like I say, I'm, I'm about halfway through. I don't know if it kicks in later on, but at the moment, I don't feel like there's really any consequence to just being a bit of a jerk and no. smacking everyone up. The game doesn't really react to your playstyle in that respect. And yeah. also, I'm kind of wondering if your choices in how you play the game affect the ending as well. I mean, that could be where yeah, it kind of comes into its maybe. own and, and, and there the are drastic kind of consequences to what you do yeah. later on. But I'm not feeling it so far. Yeah. And on that note, the storyline, I was very excited when I met the um, storyline director at Gamescom. I was really excited by the story. And uh, the sad truth is, I was more excited by him telling me the story because he kind of performed it to me. Right. And then when I actually played the bit of the story that he was talking about, I was a bit like, oh, it felt really flat really flat mm. um, and part of it was to do with um, Erin who you meet right at the beginning of the game and she's sort of a, an old protege of Garrett's unfortunately they've gone for the laziest stereotype you know female stereotype you could of kind of brash sassy like sarcastic American almost like an American frat girl kind of she's very impatient and you know she she's a thief but she doesn't care about killing people whereas Garrett's like we don't kill people she's just sassy and angry at Garrett. She's just like, oh my God, I can't believe, you know, come on, I'm better than that. And it's just like, oh, can we, can we not do yeah. that? No, um, it, it, I, find, I find it difficult to get invested in, in, to be honest, both Garrett and, and Aaron kind of early on, you kind of, they're kind of closed off characters being thieves. Mm. You know, they, they live in the shadows and it feels like their personality is also in the shadows in some way when you're playing through it. It's, it's not seen. And Maybe they could have come out a bit more with, with a bit more of yeah. that. And perhaps, I mean, it's, it's like the game might develop in that way anyway later on. So. Yeah, but uh, yeah, I just, she irritated me. She really irritated me. And yeah. for me, just made, made Garrett seem like a bit of a jerk. And she was just a total jerk. And, you know, some things happen. We're not going to spoil what happens. But I, I just, 
when you hit the first major cutscene, I felt myself not caring really what was going on because mm. I wasn't invested in it and I was just like, and also what should have been a really dramatic moment, you know the one I'm talking about right yeah, at the yeah. beginning, yeah. what should have been this really dramatic kind of moment, to me again felt really flat, the music just seemed off, the way that the, the cutscene was shot and kind of edited out felt mm. a bit disjointed and a bit disconnected yeah. and everyone's lines felt really, you know, badly delivered as well, like just kind of like, oh no, this is, and it was just like, really? Like, is that is that perhaps because of some of the frame rate issues I know you said you're having? Yeah, so I've been having frame rate issues on my PS4, like it, so it's quite jerky, and um, I I don't know if it's just because like I'm waiting for a day one patch or if I'm you know that that's being fixed. That didn't help having frame rate issues. It was very very jerky and very disconnected. Yeah. But I think even then, like I kind of took a step back and went, okay, if I if this was okay, it's still for me the lines felt very bland. Mm -hmm. The the, the music didn't really seem to suit and uh, like I said the way it was shot and blocked it didn't it didn't feel dramatic or like a big like oh my god you know whatsoever some of the music did feel kind of out of place you're getting into like an action sequence and you think okay things are about to pick mm. up and then suddenly it gets a bit techno and you're thinking oh wait hang on a sec this, this, isn't, this isn't, doesn't quite feel thief -y, techno but thief Te yeah techno, techno. yeah mm. yeah <laughs> That could be an interesting DLC, yeah. Yeah, Te yeah, techno, yeah. Thief. techno Thief. So, yeah, I mean, so I am still, I do still want to play it. I want to see where it goes. Yeah. And I, I am enjoying the bits where you kind of get left alone to do mm. your own thing and you're not being kind of pushed through everything. Yeah. Um, so I do like that, but it, to me, it just doesn't compare to the likes of Bioshock, you know, in terms of story and art visual, you know, because they, they were very keen on having a good visual and a good art style doesn't work for me. It doesn't work in terms, I think Dishonored, sadly, was the better game, even though it is sort of, Dishonored is the grandchild of the Thief series. Yeah. You know, Dishonored, definitely the better game. There was far more unique about it. The gameplay was a lot more fun with the powers and that kind mm. of thing. But with this, it's, it's sort of average, yeah. really. Which disappoints me because there was such a build up to it. And, and it doesn't, to me as well, it doesn't look that good on PS4. No? I, Compared I, to PC? Yeah, well, I mean, it just, it, it doesn't even look as good as, I'd say, Tomb Raider or something like that wow. on, on PS3. Um, it just, everything just seems a bit fake, like you can see that they're character model, like you just feel a bit Some like... Some of the scenery on PC is quite impressive, there's a scene right at the start, like within like about 10 seconds of playing where yeah. you jump out a window and bam, you're on the yeah. harbour, there's like a golden sunset, it looks amazing. Yeah. But essentially that's just a piece of art, it's a skybox. Yeah. So... Well, yeah, it, on PS4 it looks flat, like it looks like you've got the immediate scenery around you that you can go and play around, and then it's someone's kind of pinned up a painting of a sunset mm. in the background and pinned up um, star because I was looking up at the stars because I thought oh they look cool and then I looked at it and it literally looked like a piece of paper with some stars <laughs> drawn on it. Wow. Oh. <laughs> oh no. So um, yeah. So yeah. I like the pace of it. I like how I mean, I'm a fan of stealth games, and often in a stealth game, you have to plan out. You look at the patrols, you wait for like 10 minutes mm. for the right moment to yeah. get through the patrol. And you go, Pff, yeah. But there's a lot more, um, there's a lot more momentum in Thief, and, and I find that you can zip through. If, if you know where the guards are, you can just follow behind them, mm. and, and you can be stealthy but quick. And that's yeah. like a rare thing in stealth games. Yeah. And it has the free running as well, sort of Assassin's Creed style. Yeah. You know, hit L2 and you can free run off, um, which I always like. I don't think thief purists will like that at all. Probably not. But, eh, what you gonna do? <laughs> yeah, in some ways, well, it's, it's got to evolve and, you know, copy traits mm. from, from, you know, yeah. other games. I think, I think, for me, if they'd had a little bit more time to develop on PS4 and um, Xbox One, it would look better, it mm. would feel better. I think because it's new hardware um, and they've ported it from PS3. And they, you know, they've spread themselves over a lot of platforms, you know, PC, PS3, Xbox, uh, 360, Xbox One, PS4. Yeah. That's a lot to kind of spread your tech over. Yeah. So I think a lot of the issues I'm having are because of that, which is a shame. I think if they'd had a little bit more time to, to get used to the console, to get used to the PS4, it would look better, it would run better. Mm. Um, but I think at the moment, it just feels unfinished. It feels like if they'd had a little bit more time, like at a base level, it's good, but if they'd had a little bit more time, it would have been great. It would have been really something quite special. Yeah. Um, and that, that for me is the sad reality of it because I would have liked it. Like I was expecting it yeah. to be up there. Yeah, yeah, no, um, a lot of people were. So. Yeah.
I still think it's an enjoyable game. I'm, I'm still yeah. really enjoying it. Yeah, so. and I still I still want to see it through, but it is irritating me more than yeah. games that I've really enjoyed, you know, just kind of gone in there. Mm. Um, yeah, like Deus Ex Human Revolution, God, made by the same studio, just like, you know, all the way through that, I was just playing it with a big grin on my face and felt like I was being challenged and I was really into the world and invested in the characters. Deus Ex was fantastic. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a great example of how they had a high bar to meet and they went over Yeah, it, they so. smashed it. So yeah. that's why, I, that's what I was expecting with Thief, like it, exactly the same thing, kind of rejuvenation of an old franchise, mm. you know, bringing in some new ideas, you know, but it just, it doesn't, it doesn't hit the mark. Um, you know, it's enjoyable, but it doesn't hit the mark. Four young stars out of five. <laughs> <laughs> Four out of five. That's not bad. Um, well, uh, do we have points? I don't. Do we have? A, is, is there a young star system in? in well, we can introduce one if you want. Like, if because this is a Shin Preston's takeover, so. It's gin stars. Yeah. <laughs> no, do, you, no. do you want to bring in your own your own rules, your own regulations? Um, no, I I, I'm very nervous about giving scores because I'm not a gen. Yeah, I don't. I don't <laughs> like giving scores. I think. So. Yeah, I think you know you can kind of glean. What we think from it, and yeah, <laughs> so yeah. there you go. It's, it's your own decision, really. Um, yeah. So thank you very much for joining me. Thank you for having me. Yeah. It was, and it was uh, I'm going to get back to thief. Yeah, I'm going to go cause... back to smacking people in the face with a blackjack. Awesome. And awesome. play thief. Wow. Hey. Actually, yeah, yeah. I can see 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 more of Aaron in you every day. So. <laughs> wow. Oh, pleasure doing business with you. Oh, what are you wearing? Um, Garrett's gloves. Oh, did he just land them to you? Yeah, yeah, we, yeah, he just uh, stopping by and he just left them behind. So I thought, you know, Garrett's gloves, wear them for a review about his game. Wow, yeah. He, he probably wants them back now. After are they sweaty? Smashed it. Well, they are now. Ew. They're actually a little bit big, like, realistically. <laughs> yes, but yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not really going to be doing any master thieving in these. No. <laughs> I'll just get caught on stuff. Oh no, my fingers <laughs> come out. <laughs> But yeah, thank you very much, Shin. Thank and, you. And uh, cheerio. Bye.